Okay, so let's go over a few uh, self-defense moves. Uh, first, I want to go over, uh, over the uh, stick technique. So here you are. Just kind of casually kicking back, walking along. <laughs> and uh, so we try to uh, attack you. Just grab the stick here. And outward block. Outward block. Step in, outward block, and strike. Very simple, simple and effective. Just walking along, kind of minding your own business. So it tries to attack you. Grab the stick. Outward walk. Step in, strike. Okay? And you can do a double strike from there. Strike and then around to the other side. Uh, or leg. And then the other side. So from here. Here. Step in, strike. Okay, now, on this one, you're going to have both your weight on the front foot, but just be careful where you plant that front foot so that in case that person tries to sweep it, your his foot is not in the position to sweep your foot. So basically, grab, block, strike. And you can strike the legs or just come around the top on the other side. So it's just. Outward block, inward strike, legs, or just coming around from the center here, and then opposite side. Very effective, very effective. And then the next one is for some uh, upward block, kind of an upward uh, hammer blow, as my teacher used to call it. So basically, same old thing. Walking along, kind of minding your own business, enjoying the day, and uh, all of a sudden someone tries to uh, hit you from above, so you're going to bring the uh, stick up above the head. <clears throat> the hands are like so, so that they're not grabbing, in case he has a stick, they're not going to hit your hands. You're not grabbing. You're holding like so, in between the thumbs. Okay? So from up above here, so you'd be uh, stepping back or stepping forward. Uh, off offensively is always good. And uh, one of my teachers used to say, uh, if there's anyone around you want to say something like, oh, I don't want to fight, leave me alone. So that that way, if you're trained in martial arts, if there's any witnesses, they see that you're uh, not instigating the fight and you don't want to fight. So first thing you might want to say is, uh, I don't want to fight. Strike. Okay, so block, so you're blocking, and then another outward block, and then striking. Okay, so here simply again, here, here. Okay, so here, and then from above, and then around. Now this one specifically Aikido, and uh, it will strike the legs. So you're sweeping the legs out from under. So from here, strike, and then around counterclockwise, and then sweeping the legs, and then stepping in, and then jabbing. So again, for the upward block, up, around, strike, sweeping the legs, and then jabbing. Back up, ready to attack once again. Okay? So that's a couple of stick techniques, and then I'm going to show you a couple of standing takedown, takedown techniques. <clears throat> so basically, you're here in a guard position, and then you're going to step in with the back foot, plant the back foot, sweep with the front foot, drop the right hand down in front. Sweep and then push with the right hand. <clears throat> so, again, uh, standing technique, very natural movement. You don't have to think about this too much. So, from here, guard position, simply stepping in with the back foot and you're crossing front foot guarding the groin. Again, so from here, you're going to 
drop the hand as you cross in. And then sweep with the front foot around and push with the front hand. So from here it's just like so. Okay? And try a few of those on each side and see how that works for you. Now another one is uh, Bakwa push technique. So simply coming, stepping in, again the same way, down low and pushing. Down low and pushing. Okay, so down low and pushing. And you may be able to trap the front foot as you step in. Stepping in, trapping the front foot and pushing. Pushing up from the chest or abdomen area. Okay, another one is the Tai Chi movement. So you're simply here and you're going to step in. So it would be a outward block with your left hand and step in and then sweep with the far leg and then push with the front hand. So here it's just simply outward block, outward block, okay? And then so from this side it would be outward block with the left hand, stepping in with the right foot, sweeping with the right foot, and then pushing with the right hand. Okay? So it's in, similar to the first one. It's block with the left hand. It's just the uh, simply so a wave hands like cloud backwards and backwards, and then just imagine your sweeping foot as you move. Okay, so from here, sweeping the foot and pushing, sweeping and pushing. So, sweeping and pushing, sweeping and pushing, sweeping and pushing. So those are a couple of standing takedown techniques. Uh, so I wanted to also go over some Wing Chun movements. We have the <coughs> three pound weights. Um, so they say that the three pound weight is the most ideal because most hand arm pressure is three pounds. So basically, from the Wing Chun stances, uh, most of the weight on the back foot and practice lifting up your front foot, moving it, kicking. And so one of the most powerful Wing Chun techniques I have been shown, very simple, too simple for the intellect to comprehend, as a matter of fact, but very, very effective. It's just, just simply the chain punching, and again, moving in with the leg uh, in the back, containing most of the weight. Okay? And then snap kick in the front. Okay? And then actually this kick doesn't actually have to be a snap kick. You need just to be pushing on the knee. You'll find that if you ever push on someone's knee slowly enough, they'll automatically go down. And so if their foot is sort of trapped there, they will go down. You don't have to snap a joint. And so basically from here, what we're going to do is you want to practice the uh, proper Wing Chun stance, which is the adduction, so you have slight pressure between the knees, and then simply with the chain punching. Okay, very effective. If you have a good chain punching, one right over the other, coming out the two, then uh, that is the most effective technique you can use. Now, ideally, Wing Chun is a sensitive part, so it's sensitive to the forces, okay? But um, first, in order to use effective, uh, Wing Chun effectively, you're not going to be able to have the sensitivity. So at first, I would suggest developing the power and then the sensitivity second, although some teachers will have you uh, learn it the opposite way, but I feel that it may get you in trouble if you think that you're so sensitive um, you can get by. Uh, so I would suggest developing the power 
in the punches and the stance and the movement. And so the, the movement is good to practice in all different ways. Uh, the basic of the movement is circling step. So circling step, front back, circle, front back, circle sideways, and then each time you move, you want to uh, use the kick and the punch. So that's a couple of good self-defense techniques. Very simple, very effective self-defense technique. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember I teach private seminars, and so get a hold of me if you're interested.